Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Doctor Who. Last time on Doctor Who, we had Fear Her, where the Doctor and Rose went to a little, um, well, just a suburban area of uh, London during the 2012 Olympics, and there was a girl who could draw people, and then they would disappear from reality and be trapped in her drawings. Kind of interesting. Turned out to be a whole thing where there was an alien. Well, obviously there's an alien. It's Doctor Who. Everything's an alien. But, um, but yeah. Uh, there was an alien that sort of possessed her somewhat and, like, took over and wanted to get back with its siblings. And eventually the Doctor figured out how to do it, but then he got captured, so Rose had to figure it out and save the day. Which was really cool, and yeah, it was an alright episode. Um, a lot of you guys, it's it's been funny reading your comments, um, for those of you that don't like the episode. And even those of you that do like the episodes, it's just been fun watching you guys sort of argue in the comments. I hope that's not a like a, like a dick thing to say, but it's been fascinating to watch you all argue. No, kidding. It's been interesting reading your comments, um, so yeah. But uh, pretty much the one thing you all agreed on in the comments is that the next two episodes are really, really great. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I guess this is where I should go into my whole spoiler spiel, where I say no spoilers whatsoever for future episodes of Doctor Who. Let's only talk about this episode and previous episodes that I have reacted to. In terms of classic Who spoilers, I'd rather you just not be in depth about it. You can go ahead. You can you can reference stuff. Just be very vague about classic Who stuff. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get right into this episode. Here we go. Quit mocking me. And this is where I died. No. Don't. No, uh, I was talking about this last the first time. first 19 years of my life, and then I met a man called the Doctor. Yeah. Rob. <gasps> Eccleston! Whoa, 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 we did not I see that. it would never end. But then came the army of ghosts. Oh, no. Then came Torchwood and the war. Torchwood? The war? What? And that's when it all ended. This is a story of how I died. No! God dang it. Dang it, I don't want to watch her die. Oh, I don't know why you bother with that phone. You never use it. <laughs> yeah, you don't call ahead, Rose. Come on. <laughs> oh, poor doctor. Maybe the one benefit of losing Rose is losing Jackie. Ten past. Here he comes. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. This is a problem now. They're everywhere. But they're just. How did we miss these on the way here? Torchwood. And there they go. Denkin Torchwood, making ghosts and stuff. And tonight we're expecting very strong ghosts. From what? London, through the north, and up into Scotland. So basically, How long I mean, have we been gone? That you are in Same as ever. The machines keep saying the sphere can't exist. This is like the most Torchwood we've ever seen on this show. It's just... It gets into your head, this thing. The like sphere. Staring at you. Alright, we'll catch up later. It's the Winged Thanks, Dragon Josh. of Raw Spirit yeah. Mode. Coffee, huh? Are we talking like a loot cage kind of coffee or just coffee? I'm gonna go back to work. This didn't go well, did it? Alright, what happened to him? This is it. And no, 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 no. Wait, just a. Oh, God! Ah. According to the paper, 
They've elected a ghost as MP. Bring it, it's the Daleks all over again. Who are you gonna call? Evidently, he's a Ghostbuster now. Between this and Stranger Things, we just need Game of Thrones to complete the trifecta. What's that? You two. I'm sorry we're late. Save it till later. Sorry we're late. Eh, yeah, that's not... Uh, they're screwed up. I suppose I do, yeah. You've changed so much. For the better. It's not the time for this, Jackie. Mom, I used to work in walking through the marketplace. On some planet a billion miles from Earth. But she's not Rose Tyler. Not anymore. She's not even human. Oh, don't give me your crap, Jackie. What the... Do the 3D glasses work? We've got a camera within 50 yards. Oh. <laughs> Is it him? Yeah. It's him. Who else would have that? Oh my gosh, he said the thing! Look sharp, Rose Tyler, allons-y! And then, it'd be really brilliant if I met someone called Alonzo! Because then I could take allons-y, Alonzo, every time! <laughs> You're staring at me. Allons-y, but not too fast. My ankle's going. I'll show you where my ankle's going. So the two of them get to team up. That's different. Anything that comes from the sky, we strip it down, and we use it for the good of the British Empire. Um... Are they good at the what? The British Empire. There isn't a British Empire. Not yet. Oh, um, excuse me. Now, if you would, if it's alien, it's ours. You'll never get inside it. <laughs> Etc. You can't get in. Keep the door closed. Can you lock it from the inside? That's interesting, seducing him into being a Cyberman. Cyberman. Of not, I'm fighting the alien horde. But if I'm the enemy, does that mean I'm a prisoner? Oh, yes. Bringing, I knew he was the enemy. And there is so much you can Some of you guys said he wasn't. He is. I knew it. Well, Doctor? This is a void ship. A void ship? And what is that? It's a vessel designed to exist outside time and space. Uh huh. Traveling through the void. Okay. So how do we get in there? We don't. We send that thing back into hell. How did it get here in the first place? Well, that's how it all started. The sphere came through into this world and the ghost followed in its wake. Show me. <sighs> Doctor only has so much curiosity. Can you lock it? I should probably lock that. Whose sarcophagus is that? Should we back off? Should we play it safe? Nah, you think let's make it bigger! It's a massive source of energy. Yes. If we can harness that power, we need never depend on the Middle East again. Britain will become truly independent. That's very human. See yourself. Next. Walking from their world, across the void, and into yours. With a human race hoping and wishing and helping them along. Yeah. Too many ghosts. Yeah, that's uh. Well, in that case, we'll have to be more careful. Positions, go shift. Well, in one that's minute. not how that works. Hartman, I am asking you, please. Go shift in 20 seconds. Mm, can't wait to see it. You can't stop <laughs> us, Doctor. No, absolutely not. Put up a chair, Rose. Come on, watch the fireworks. Go shift in 10 seconds. He's gonna sit Nine, there and watch your failure. Eight, seven. Like six, the cocky bastard five, he is. Four. Well, it worked. You just gotta be convincing with this, Rose. If you believe it, the psychic paper will too. Call security. Well, punch Samuel, him. can you check the door locks? She just walked right in. Doing it now, sir. What the? Mickey! Buddy! Well, if you'd like to take a seat. So Yay, yeah, Mickey's back! Did they, Did they build a sphere? And he had Last a dramatic time. exit Maybe and everything. Just mention like a cannonball. It's the earpiece controlling them. I've seen this before. Yeah, he has. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, that's. They're what dead. Happened? 
I remember that. They're dead. You killed them. Oh, someone else did that long before I got here. But yeah. you killed them! Jackie, I haven't got time for this. What are they... We've got a problem down here. Yvonne, can you hear me? Oh. Yvonne, for God's oh, it's sake, Jay the is active. The re... Your pieces here, Pauls. This world is colliding with another. Yeah. And I think I know which one. Mm -hmm. um, God. They came through first. Yeah. The Cybermen. The advance guard. Cybermen. Let's go! That's not gonna work. What's inside that sphere? I guess. No one knows. Cyber leader, cyber king, emperor of the Cybermen. Whatever it is. But they already had that. That was Lumic. dead meat. The cost shift will be increased to 100%. Why do you want to do that? Cybermen. Oh, oh crap. What's in there? All the ghosts are Cybermen. Millions of them. That's right across the world. That's why they seem familiar. Well, this is not good. And I'm ready for them, I've got just a thing. Okay. Oh, Mickey's got a super gun. Snap blast them to hell. Mickey Smith. Yeah. Defending the earth. Yeah. Good for you, Mickey. We only followed its origin is unknown. Ah, oh, crap. The sphere is not Cybermen, then. That's not Cybermen. Oh my gosh. God! Fuck! Oh, this is horrible! It's literally the worst thing they could have done. God damn it! Oh my gosh! The friggin' Daleks are back! Are you friggin' kidding me? The Daleks are back with the Cybermen? Crap, that's... Oh... Okay... Glasses are coming off again. Oh, I need a second to, like, process that. Holy crap. Okay, good on you, Doctor Who. I did not see that coming. Um... Um... <laughs> Okay, so I was going to say that this was sort of taking the route of the end of Series 1, where our mechanical villains from previous episodes have come back to be the villains at the end. But, but not just the Cybermen, the Daleks too. Is this going to be like the new thing? Are we doing this every series now? That we, like, the Daleks will come back, and then the Cybermen, and the next season we'll have another mechanical villain. And the next season we'll have another mechanical villain on top of that. God, of all the things they could have put in that sphere, I did not think it would be a Dalek. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, okay, um. Okay, my, my excitement is... Uh, tempering now. I need to actually speak and discuss this episode. Holy crap, I did not see that coming. Um, so, the spear ghosts. So, great twist that, first of all, the ghosts aren't even ghosts. They're the Cybermen, which I did not see coming. Because um, we did this whole thing where we have ghosts, and then we have Cybermen, and now we have Daleks. Oi, okay, um, I, I like that, this is very believable, I like the fact that the ghosts are actually the Cybermen all along, because when they say, like, 
like when Jackie says, like, oh, well, this ghost seems very familiar to me. It's like my father. It's like, that probably was your father then. That probably was Jackie's father, but a Cyberman. So I wonder, could they find the version, the Cyberman version of Jackie? But she, that, that Cyberman might have been destroyed um, back in episode six. So we, so there's that. Um, so that was really interesting. I really like that. Very creative. Um, very interesting. Um, then I wrote down the Cybermen themselves, which it really didn't cross my mind that that's where we were going. That the Cybermen came back. But as soon, like when it showed the silhouette uh, behind, uh, behind the plastic, I was like, no. And I was like, that, that's not. And they open. It's like, God damn it. So, that was really good. Um, and again, the fact that they brought the friggin' do The Cybermen now work for the Daleks. But they didn't even know the Daleks were in there. Okay, hold on. H hold on. I gotta think about something. Ugh, friggin' Daleks. Friggin' Daleks every time coming in trying to kill the Doctor. Was that their plan? Is that their plan to do that? But see, it doesn't seem like the Cybermen were coordinating with the Daleks in the sphere. Because, um... Because... Like, the Cybermen just said, it's like, well, the sphere just sort of created this pathway to this world. We just used the pathway. So did the, Cyber did the Cybermen even know... That the Daleks were in there? I don't even know. Do the Daleks know of the Cybermen now? Is Did the Daleks use the Cybermen to get to Earth? Or they're going to use the Cybermen? Like, that's the plan. Because it really only showed three Daleks at the end of that. So I'm wondering if these three Daleks, like, are controlling... Are going to use the Cybermen to defeat the Doctor. Maybe. It doesn't seem like the Daleks would ever team up with anyone, but maybe the Cybermen would be, would work. I don't know, but the Daleks are all about, you know, for lack of a better word, like racial superiority. You know, they always think they're superior to everyone. And, you know, all the only emotion they have left is hate. I don't know, like, would they actually, would they actually team up with the Cybermen? Would they deem the Cybermen as equals or well maybe they don't maybe they just think maybe they just think the cybermen are a means to an end to defeat the doctor once and for all god this is how oh god i didn't even think about this until just now but this is how rose dies god just one big twist after another i hate that we opened with that we opened with that with rose saying this is how i died it's like no rose you're gonna die to Cybermen and the Daleks. Dang it. We need we need help. We need like we need friggin' We need Captain Jack. Where the where the heck is he? Did he never figure out time travel? We haven't had them this whole friggin' series. Can Jack come back, please? Um I wrote down Alon Z. Okay, that's okay, so there are things you hear about uh, about Doctor Who. Like shows like Doctor Who, before you watch it, I knew that his cat that uh, Tenet's the tenth Doctor's catchphrase is Alan Z. I've been waiting for it this entire series, so yeah, finally he says that. he just says that out of nowhere. Is it Alan Z? And he's like, ah, I like that. I should start saying that a lot more. It's like, okay. And then the last thing I wrote down was Torchwood. Bringing Torchwood, blowing it. It's like, Torchwood, it's because of you guys that the Cybermen are doing all this. Because you, oh, you had to be interested in these ghosts. The Doctor's right. But the thing is, I feel like maybe the Doctor's a little too hard on them. Because it's, it's the human scientific curiosity. Now, the whole thing about the British Empire and stuff like that is like, whoa, easy there, buddy. It's like, easy there. I don't, they're... There's not supposed to be a British Empire. That's not how that works. Oh, oh excuse me. Jeez. Um, so, yeah. 
But the whole thing with, well, they found the ghost stuff and they wanted to experiment with it. I don't know if the doctor should be too hard on them because he's seen this all before. You know? This is exactly what he said um, with the Satan pit. When the guys found Satan, he's like, and if you guys ever, you know, find something like this again, it's like, oh, what's the point? You'll probably go study it anyway. It's what humans do. Humans have this curiosity about them that the doctor loves. He loves that. So that's the thing is, but a Torchwood, I don't know, Torchwood, they're very, they're very possessive people. Like, they really, it's like any, anything alien is ours. It's like, whoa, okay there, that's not how that works. The doctor, the TARDIS is not yours now, and good luck getting into that. Like, I, you know, I don't care what kind of wep what kind of tech you have, lady. You're not getting into the TARDIS, so, yeah. So there's that, and the fact that the Doctor is still technically an enemy of Torchwood. And he's technically their prisoner, so... Yeah, that's... that was interesting. But, that was the last thing I wrote down. Um, it was great to see Mickey back again. I didn't even think... I didn't think he would ever come back. I, you know, we had that heartfelt goodbye, but it makes sense that if the Cybermen found a way to come to a, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna call our Earth, Earth One, the Earth of the Doctor and Rose, and technically Mickey, and then the other Earth of the Cybermen and stuff. I'll call that Earth Two for simple, for simplicity's sake. The fact that it, it does make sense that Mickey would also find a way to Earth One. Did he bring anyone else? Did he bring any of his other freedom fighters? So, yeah. Really cool to see Mickey. A lot of twists and turns, because I didn't, I didn't think that Mickey would come back, and then he just turned around, and it's like, whoa, hey, Mickey's back. And then the fact that, just the fact that the Cybermen came back, even, is a big twist. But then on top of that, to throw me for another loop by bringing the Daleks back. That's crazy. And I, I swear to you, of all the things that could have been in that sphere, I did not expect the Daleks. God, the Daleks will just never... They'll never go away. They'll always be there. That seems to be what I'm learning. Because in episode 6 of series 1, it was like, oh, it's the last of the Daleks. And then, flash forward to the end of series 1. Well, here's a bunch of more Daleks. Well, Rose killed them all. Flash forward to the end of series two. Hey, there's more Daleks. It's like, oy, okay. So I'm just going to assume we're never truly done with the Daleks. Especially because I I know they're like the most iconic Doctor Who villains. These little salt shaker things running around. So, yeah. Yeah, that, um, I might rewatch that ending because that was so emotional and... Oh, it really got to me. That was that was really good. A great twist and now I am pumped. I am so excited. I'm so hyped for the next episode. But there is one thing I'm not hyped for and that is Rose's death. I don't want to watch her die. Dang it. Ugh, Fran. Oh, and it was cool to see even that tiny clip of Christopher Eccleston again. Because, you know me, I loved Eccleston as the Doctor. And and I love David Tennant. And I and maybe we'll talk about this more in the next episode. But I think I love both Tennant and Eccleston equally as the Doctor. But I like them for different reasons. Like, they're very, they are different portrayals of the Doctor. I don't know. But... But... I do really like both of them, but it was so nice, even just for that tiny little clip of him saying run, it was nice to see something of Eccleston. So, yeah, that's basically it. Oi, with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time at the Series 2 finale. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Doctor Who videos, I've got the full playlist down here, as well as some other videos you can check out if, if you want to. Uh, I've also got the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and you can follow me on social media, links below in the description. Thanks for watching.